Hey Jules, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be making rice water and I'm going to be trying out the rice water challenge for about a month. So if you'd like to see how it turns out, stay tuned. Make sure you guys subscribe and make sure you turn on that notification bell also. So the rice I used was a random brand. This is not the rice that I usually use to cook, but it was cheap, it was like a dollar, so this worked perfectly. I'm only going to need about a cup of rice, and I'm gonna place it in this bowl so that we can wash this rice before we do the do. You want to make sure you wash it thoroughly. I washed it about two times just to make sure you get the debris out. After I'd finished washing it, I'd strain the water and I'd repeat the steps again. I'm gonna be using this mason jar. I picked it up at my local Kroger. It has like a double lid thingy going on. And this is perfect for fermenting the rice. So I'm gonna put the rice into the mason jar as much as I can. After the rice is in the mason jar, I'm going to fill the mason jar up with water. So I've been seeing that the rice water has a really unpleasant smell. So to combat that, we're going to be adding some lavender oil. And I'm also going to be adding the peel of a lemon. And we're gonna throw that into the water to help with the smell and close it. And I'm gonna leave it in here to ferment for about 48 hours. So I washed my hair last night and they're dry. I'm gonna refresh my hair. I'm gonna get it wet and spray it with a water bottle. I'm going to do like a length check. And I'm gonna wear this shirt, the same shirt, in about a month so we can see if it hit a different, a different stripe, you know. So this is how long my hair is stretched. So stretch, it's basically hitting this white. We'll go for the red stripe right here. So if you'll go past this red stripe, huh, that's the true test. Excuse the face. So I strained the rice water and poured it in this little sprayer bottle and this is the bottle I'm going to be using to spray it all throughout my hair. To comb my hair I'm going to be detangling with this shower comb. I picked it up at Walmart I think. So since I washed my hair the day before and my hair dried overnight, I'm going to have to refresh the braids. I'm going to do that with some water in another spray bottle. And then I'm going to go in with the rice water bottle and spray that all throughout my hair. And make sure that I spray a generous amount. I'm gonna go back through with my Denman brush. And then I'm gonna braid this section back up. I'm 
and I'm just gonna repeat this all over my hair and I'm gonna repeat this I'm also going to repeat this in about two weeks and then we're going to see how our hair grew in two more weeks. So after I finish all of those sections, I'm going to spray some more rice water all over my hair, including my hairline, just to make sure I didn't miss any spots. And then I'm going to take this plastic shower cap and I'm going to wrap it on my hair. And I'm gonna leave this rice water in my hair for about an hour. So I'm back today, July 12th. My hair is freshly washed and we're just gonna repeat those same steps from the last time when we first tried the rice water. Now I'm gonna separate my hair into four sections to make it easier to distribute the rice water. After each section is made, I'm just going to go through and do the same exact step as the first time we did the rice water.
And we're just going to leave it in for another hour. So after I rinsed the rice water out, deep conditioned. And after that, I was going... And after that, I went in with my Kaleidoscope's Milkshake Spray. And this is a leave-in detangling spray. And I just sprayed this throughout my hair. Just so I could twist it up for my pineapple that I planned on wearing after this just to give it the extra condition. So today's judgment day, we're going to see if the rice water actually worked. So this is where my hair is hitting now. I'm going to place a side by side of my hair next to each other. And this is the comparison of before I started the rice water and today. So in my opinion, it does look like my hair significantly grew and I feel like my hair was also stronger throughout this whole process. So I think this is something I'm going to start doing monthly possibly, but not as often as I did in this challenge because I do know that too much protein is not healthy for your hair. So now I'm just going to twist my hair back up. And then I'm gonna grease my scalp with my Kaleidoscope's Miracle Drops. And then prepare my hair for my wigs and honey we are off back into wig life.
Thank you, Jules, so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up for me, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!